Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to explain using theorems 4, 5, 7, and 9 why the function is continuous at every number in its domain and to state the domain. So we have here a of t is equal to arcsine of 1 plus 2t. And the way we can think of this as is we have b of t and c of t. b of t is going to be arcsine of t and c of t is going to be 1 plus 2t. We can think of a of t as b of, not b of t, because what we're plugging into the arc sign isn't t, but it's the entirety of c of t. So this is b of c of t. And therefore, by theorem 9, we can state that if c of t is continuous at a point, and b is continuous, or sorry, if c of t is continuous at a point t, and b is continuous at c of t, then the composite function, b of c of t, which we know is a of t, is continuous at that point t. And Therefore, the only reason that b of c of t would have a discontinuity is if there were separate discontinuities in b and c of t. However, we know from theorem 7 that arcsine, which is an inverse trig function, and 1 plus 2t, which is a polynomial, for these functions, right, we know that they are continuous over their domains. Therefore, b of c of t is continuous over the domain of c and the domain of b over c. Right? So the only way that a of t is not continuous is if it is taking on a value that is not in the function's domain, because we know that its individual parts are as well. Um, therefore, we can say that a of t is continuous at every number in its domain. We are also asked to find the domain. And so we know that c of t is a polynomial, and polynomials don't have a domain restriction. However, we do have um, b of t is inverse sine, and we know that the um, domain of inverse sine is that it only takes on values of t for b of t from negative 1 to 1. Therefore, 1 plus 2t uh, must be between negative 1, or sorry, 1 and negative 1. So this is just an uh, inequality that we have to solve. I will rewrite it uh, down here uh, to be a little bit clearer. So 1 plus 2t has to be between negative 1 and 1. So solving for t, we get 2t is less than, or is, uh, less than or equal to 0 and greater than or equal to negative 2. And therefore, t, uh, we seem to be running out of space a little bit. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. These 2s cancel, and we have 0 divided by 2 is 0. t must be between negative 1 and 0. So that is the restriction for a of t, and at every other value, it is continuous, because those are the numbers in its domain.